Hello and welcome to a poker smith with some numbers. I am a smith and today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a review on the Pokemon series anime, the new series that has just dropped pretty much worldwide. I was going to do it a bit sooner but I thought what's the point when a lot of people haven't watched it yet. But don't worry as this is still predominantly Pokemon card opening unpackaging channel I still have a little special treat for the end of this video so just wait wait to the end and then uh, I'll open a little something after after a little review of the series okay so today's episode is a little bit different a bit more relaxed just gonna have a chat so leave plenty of comments you know grab a coffee got my a little coffee here. Yep, got a coffee. Need a coffee. I've just finished work. I work nights at the moment, so yay. So I need a coffee. And yeah, we're just gonna I'm just gonna ramble on a bit about the uh, Pokemon series. It's just my thoughts on a Pokemon series that I'm watching right now. I've dipped in and out over the years. Uh, I, I don't watch a lot of anime. I just enjoy Pokemon, so I watch the Pokemon series, and we'll just uh, just have a little little chat, little ramble, little get together. So my initial thoughts, obviously, when they announced Ash was leaving, I thought, oh dear, this could be the end of Pokemon the series. But then they announced the the new main character Liko and I thought okay I'm excited for that we've got a a female fronted character which already has interested me so I had to wait a while for that to happen initial thoughts I'm excited we've got a female fronted character and let's go so the episode started uh, straight away there was a lot of new characters coming in which again excited me because more characters Hopefully, you get a lot more story, and it's kind of what we've gotten so far. Again, I also, because some people might not have watched as many, uh, in the UK we had uh, a 16 episode drop, and four have just come out at the same time that they were uploaded to Netflix America. Uh, I don't know what they thought about there, but... Nonetheless, I've watched 20 episodes. There might be more from this point on. So I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to talk in general terms about the characters and what I think. And, and you do the same. You, you, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you. Leave a comment. Just let me know what you're thinking. So when we look at the, the animation itself, I think it looks it looks great. Um, I've always, not always, I thought in recent years, some of the animation has been a bit lazy, sort of. It's mostly just a still picture that pans to one side to the other. But this one always seems like there's movement. Obviously, there's still a bit of that. That's like a trademark of Pokemon. But it doesn't seem as continuous as previous seasons. And it just looks good. The art looks good. It just looks like a like a really good good visual and I'm enjoying watching it it's keeping me it doesn't take me out of the episode as much as previous episodes I know it's a harsh critic maybe the show is I suppose for kids you know take it the way you want it is but nonetheless so the animation is plus point for me I'm, I'm enjoying the new animation um, and so far every episode hasn't had any filler which has surprised me long series when they do 40 50 episodes or whatever probably more most of the time they, they're just filler episodes but every episode so far has introduced a new dynamic of the story it's gone into the backstory of characters it's move forward 
the pot, you know, it, so it's, it's constantly going, which is, it keeps hold of my attention because there's always something you don't want to miss. So great start. And obviously with the plot, you've got, you've got the, the, the pendant from Lico. You've got the Rayquaza from Roy and you've got the, the different regions they're visiting and there's a lot of mystery to it at the moment so they're doing a really good job of keeping my attention making me think how is this all related uh, you know what's going to happen next uh, I want to know what's going to happen next so from very basic overview of a rough sort of this is the plot this is what's going on and here's a big group of people great great stuff really enjoying it so far so if you want to break down the characters individually you look at Liko the main female character uh, the relatable character for me um, she spends a lot of time in her own head so sort of inner voice of self-doubt which with someone like me that has struggled with anxiety and depression pretty much my whole life seeing a character at the forefront of something you watched as a kid is now the main character and you're seeing that process on television albeit an anime nonetheless it's television it's a story and she has those those doubts and constant overthinking uh, you can see they've not said explicitly anxiety within her character and it's just something that you can connect with and understand and just in enjoying seeing a, a, the struggle of that character as she works things out uh, yeah and it's just how it's come together with okay I'm trying not to give away too much go and watch it is basically what I'm saying um, obviously how she's come together with a group of people and you know you kind of go from there with people friends you got the relationships the different dynamics and what's going on in her head and they use that fairly often sort of voiceover type but that is a real plus point for me uh, so then we move on to Roy the male companion so to speak next to Liko and he's got like super high energy <laughs> I don't know kid with ADHD I guess something like like that sort of energy he's got going forward all the time he's like let's go and explore this let's go look at that for someone like me being around someone like that can get sort of sort of grading sort of annoying but it's the perfect opposite for Lico. you have those two dynamic opposite people but he can push her to do things and you know it, it is it works great it's as silly as it sounds but it, it, it is a good dynamic to have the only issue I have is the <sighs> the singing I know it's for kids but it's annoying as hell however I think Pokemon know this and they I think it's meant to be annoying so if they've annoyed me they've done their job well done okay so we've got a uh, dot as well I think it takes a few episodes to get into dots character but basically Oh, there is going to be a spoiler here if you've only seen a couple of episodes so skip forward 30 seconds dot is neato thing i'm guessing you could have probably figured that out uh so she's like an introverted character which again i can relate to many people could probably relate to these different characters they've got going on and that's the good thing of having so many different uh characters in this in this one group together because you can you can explore different avenues of where you want to go with these people which is 
which is which is brilliant. You've got something for everyone. So she uses Nudo Thing as an online presence, which is a polar opposite to who she is as a character, which is another sort of quite interesting conflict of characters in between in within herself. And you know, stroke a genius, Pokemon on the ball, you use an online influencer in your Pokemon show that is heavily featured online with online online play you know yeah, the list goes on i don't need to explain to you how pokemon have used the internet for years and then to get characters like dot and iono that are essentially influencers within their world it's it's to me a nice sort of just nod to reality and how online influencers are so let me just take a sip of my coffee as i said yeah it's not a ha um yeah it's no, it's not a pokemon mug it's a harry potter mug but it's the perfect size for a latte i don't know if that's gonna make the cut but nonetheless nonetheless let's just adjust this So if we move on to Molly and Orla, they're the two other female characters as part of the crew, rising vault tacklers. Um, Orla, for me, I think she's a badass, to be honest, and I think she's probably going to go underrated during this series. She literally keeps the engine running to the the ship they have and you get to explore her backstory as well uh, the same with Molly which I'm really enjoying the time they're taking for each character to show them that to show you their story so you've got Molly as well has got an interesting episode on where she's come from um, we've got Freed and Murdoch the two guys Freed is Pikachu's trainer and Murdoch is sort of the chef of the group. They are at the moment just sort of two nice guys that keep the show ticking along. You know, they are part of the story. They, they, you know, they're, I don't know, I don't want to call them a device to just get things moving forward, but you know, again, they go into both of their backstories, they're interesting episodes. I just don't think they're as complex as as Dot or Iono. Uh, so maybe there's more to come. Hopefully, I'm. I you can't have super complex characters every single one, I suppose. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have an opinion on Freed and Murdoch that differs from mine, which I'll be interested to hear. I want to know. Maybe I've missed something. But I do just think they're just nice guys that do a job, which is fine, you know, totally fine. Uh, we met Brassius as well. <laughs> Brassius was a great episode, completely unhinged character, but it was a good episode as well. And the the explorers part of the main protagonists uh, again they were given time which is good it's not just a generic bad guy that's come for something we're going into a story with the explorers i might be wrong but i think there's an episode where his brother's involved so there's sort of conflict there which is something i hope comes back it, it might not be his brother, I might have misheard, but there, there's there's someone there that's he's got a sort of battle against, I guess. Um, and they've made Cerulege look like an absolute beast, which is which is what you you need. You need a, them to be a threat, or 
you turn into a Jesse and James situation, which although they're loved and fun to watch, whenever they turn up, you know two minutes later they're just going to be blasting out the sky and job done. Well done, Ash. But when the explorers come along with Cerule, she's kicking butt. Yeah, you're not sure what's going to happen, which is another positive thing to keep you on your toes. Um, there is another protagonist later on that goes at things a different way to the, the the main the first three explorers. So it's uh, interesting that there's sort of different ways of approaching things, different tactics. You know, good stuff all round. I'm obviously not going to go into too much depth about anything. I don't want to give away too much. I'm just enjoying the show. Um, I hope it continues. I hope Liko stays on for a while. I don't know what their plans are. If you know, let me know. And yeah, just go out and watch it. Let me know what you're thinking about it. So that is my brief, not so brief overview, review so far of the new Pokemon series. I hope you're enjoying it like I am. If not, let me know. Maybe you miss Ash, which is fine. I think he might be coming back at some point in time. Willie, won't he? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. Anyway. So, that's it. That's my little review done. And, as promised, I have a extra treat for you today. Which is... Ooh, it is a, another Pokeball tin. I opened two of these the other day. I got some great pulls. But this one is a D21 code, so it should have Cosmic Booster Pack in there, which I'm really excited about opening up. So uh, Vivid Voltage, uh, Rebel Clash, and the Cosmic. So hopefully we'll get some good pulls from this in a minute, and I hope you stick around to watch it, or skip to watch it, whatever. Either way, gonna be opening this up, so let's get to it. Okay, so as promised, this is the the Pokeball tin code D21. Should be Cosmic Booster in here. There should be Vivid Voltage, and there should be something else. I've forgotten. Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, that is the one. So let's see, right. So I hope you enjoyed the review of the new Pokemon anime series. As I said, I'm not an avid um, anime watcher or anything. It was just my, my opinions on the show that I'm enjoy I'm enjoying watching at the moment and I thought well I'm enjoying it I, I want to do a little review but I open Pokemon cards on this channel so here I am opening more Pokemon cards okay so let's see what is inside this tin hopefully it is what I think it is they are currently upside down which adds to the anticipation so we have a cosmic eclipse that is the one a vivid voltage and a rebel clash so it is the one we thought it was we have a little coin in here there we go get a good look at that a little shiny coin is cool Bing. put it back in the tin Yes, I still have my coffee, which is going a little bit cold. As I said before, I work nights, so I'm tired and I've just come back from work. 
but I wanted to do this, so here I am. So first of all, I think we're going to save Cosmic Eclipse for last because that is the one I'm most excited to open. And let's start off with some Rebel Clash. Why not? All right, let's get into it. Quite excited for these three packs. Bit of fun today. Okay, so Helioptile. Uh, Voltorb. Sorry, Shadow. Sandygarth. Oh, Vulpix. Really cute little artwork there for Vulpix. We have a Coughing. We have a... Is that the Reverse? Palisand. And... Oh, we have a Gold Trainer card. Okay, big charm. Nice, nice, nice. Good start to the day. Pretty cool little card there. Big charm, gold trainer. Okay, and the energy. Oh, I forgot to do the card trick. Silly me. And yes, there we go. So the last three cards. Alpha Toad. Orangey. There you go. So excited to get through these. I forgot the card trick. But there's our first pull of a date. Next up, Vivid Voltage. So let's not forget the the um, card trick this time. One, two, three, four. There we go. So we have the Psychic Energy to start us off with. Zeb Striker. We have Coating Energy. We have Heroes Medal. Have a Weedle. We have Bowdom. Fanfy. Duskull. Electrike. The Reverse Pincher Jin. And, oh, last, here we go. We have the Galean Darmanitan. Nice, nice V card there. So, you know, two packs, two out of two. Cool. This is going well so far. I really have. <laughs> Hope there's something nice in the Cosmic Eclipse. Okay, so we have the Cosmic Eclipse. So many cards from this set. So many cards. Just uh, take another sip of coffee. Hope you don't mind. Mm. Oat milk latte with a bit of caramel syrup if anybody's interested. Treat myself. Treat myself twice with a nice coffee and some Pokemon cards. All right, let's get into this last pack of the day. So, let's see what we have in this Cosmic Eclipse pack hopefully something nice and big so, go card and one two three four i think hopefully let's see there we go so got the energy there oh, took two cards there oh vaporeon start us off with that's pretty nice nice uncommon vaporeon Absol, it's another sweet card. Lily, the Apom, we have Onyx, we have Tepig, I do love Tepig. We have Alolan Sandshrew, which is another cool Pokemon. We have the Snorrent, and a full art 
Excadrill. Alright. Okay, not bad, not bad. There we go. Look at that. Lovely shine to it. So, so three out of three. Three packs, three pulls. Pretty cool. And the <laughs> non-hollow Waylord to finish it off. Okay, so not, not too bad there on the Exca drill. Okay, so if we look at the three pulls we got today from three packs from a Pokeball tin, we got the Big Charm, the Galarian Darmanitan, and the Exca drill for our card. So pretty good pulls for a Pokeball tin. Can't complain. And again, that brings us to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed my rambling review of the Pokemon series. Um, I hope you're enjoying watching it. I know I am. I'm going to stick with it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed everything here today. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Honestly, it helps a million times. I hope to see you again soon. And uh, yeah, drink coffee. Stay awake. Stay alive. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs>